Hello, Spooksters. Welcome back to Sinister Streams, the online haunted museum. I may sound a little nasally, and that is because I am simply just trying to get over having COVID. Unfortunately, um, it has spread through the museum. I hope you guys don't mind that I am doing the intro by flashlight, but I just thought that it was a little bit spooky, and it's currently pouring outside you guys so I'm in here in the Victorian viewing room I had to walk through the asylum to get here now yes you heard me correctly those of you um, in the public group of our spooksters that are not part of our premium member subscription have been a little bit behind on the update as to how the museum's coming along because I'm trying to build an asylum themed section for October so that we can investigate into all of our hospital objects and our asylum objects for the entire month of October and for Halloween here at Sinister Streams. We're going to be doing asylum themed lockdowns inside the museum and it's going to be fantastic and a lot of fun and I hope that you guys are going to be sticking around. Now before we get to that though, September we're going to be doing a lawn so we're going to be going over to the schoolhouse on the other side to do investigations having to do with the school for troubled teens and also having some background into like covered up murders and deaths associated around abuse that happened at this school. So the next two months coming up is gonna be crazy and I am so excited to get into these investigations live with you spooksters. I wanted to give you guys a little bit of a insight into how the museum looks so far and what you guys can expect to be seeing as of October. Now, we're not completely finished. I'm working on some final touches, but I wanted to give you an update on how the museum's looking as of right now because I think it is coming along and I'm pretty proud of how it's coming along and I wanted to share. Also, I've got a few other objects coming in here pretty soon. Adam, who you know sent us the hag that we're going to be investigating the hag Friday live, he's going to be joining us, is going to be sending us another object that he purchased a while back that is, I guess, a demonic object. Now, he didn't think anything of it until he decided to do some dowsing rods after a dream that indicated that the problem that he's been having may still be being caused by an object in his house. It then indicated that it was a certain object and that object is now on its way to the museum. So we're going to be getting a package, another package from Adam. And we're also going to be getting another package as well that is from somebody completely different that is sending us something that is actually from Elmhurst Hospital. This was something they received in the 80s um, when they lived in the hospital for some time. I don't know much more about it. It's a haunted hospital object and it's going to be it's, it's interesting it's not something that I normally would <laughs> think is haunted just by looking at it so um it's definitely going to be going to be an interesting unboxing so uh definitely look forward to that as well now that I'm starting to feel a little bit better it is a week uh since I got sick um I'm going to start to try to pump out a little bit of content to catch you guys up because honestly, I have not been 
I have not been in here since the last investigation last Friday on the hag. I actually just put her back in her place and opened this back up. This is the first time I've been in here since I've been sick. I don't feel that uh, comfortable coming in here when I am in a vulnerable state. Oh, I'm getting creeped out already talking about it. When I'm in a vulnerable state, when I'm sick, I don't come in here. Um, I give myself a few days to recharge and today I was feeling pretty good and I have my protection set up um, and I also have my hagstone in my pocket. So I'm protected, but still, nonetheless, the things know now that I'm in here and I can feel them creeping in on me. That being said, um, I'm gonna walk you guys around, give you guys a little tour of what the museum looks like thus far um, and I hope you guys will enjoy and that'll be it for today um, this was just kind of an introductory little video for you guys now um, members are gonna be doing something interesting with me tonight we're gonna go and we're gonna try to boot up the TV yes the TV from the nursing home and see if we can get Ooh the wind crazy see if we can get any faces to come through the tv while we do a portal session maybe we can what was that maybe we can communicate with whatever it is that was talking to the lady in the nursing home inside the TV or what she was talking to rather. So very interesting. It's going to be fun. If you guys are not members and you do want to join in on our weekly lives minus last week because I was really sick, but I'm going to be making it up to them because we're going to be going to a cemetery next. Um, you can join just by hitting that little join button on our main channel page or under any video that you watch and you can choose the different tiers do know that if you want to be part of the live and the videos every single week for members you have to be subscribed to the crew member tier that is the last tier because that unlocks all of the content um, the first tier only gets you emojis um, voting rights and extra content in the community tab the second unlocks all of our premium videos and then of course the third tier is premium videos and the live every week so unless there's a, like a, something that comes up like me getting sick and unable to speak during a live stream um, you guys get a live stream on Wednesday as members so you get then a live Wednesday and Fridays so it's pretty neat um, it's a tight little knit group and we're super super awesome and we're content just hanging out getting some awesome paranormal content and it gives you twice a week instead of once a week so if you want to join us you can certainly do that don't forget to check out our merch store we're coming out with some new merch you guys and I'm gonna be trying to come out with some new stuff uh, leading up into Halloween hoping to kind of have some fresh stuff out there for you guys so if you want to you know get in the spooky spirit and wear some new merchandise we're gonna have some cool stuff coming on the shop so definitely check that out all the links are in the description for everything that I'm talking about so if you guys can't remember like I can't remember just check the video description after you're done watching and uh, let's get to this tour and it's gonna be by torchlight Okay guys, so when you enter the museum, you see here this just old kind of rickety door. Now this used to be a viewing window for the hospice care nursing home that was set up in this area. Um, so this door leads out into the hallway, that haunted stairwell. Um, my room is across the way that I film my intros in. Now when you first come in, you're in our asylum smack dab right in the middle of it. Um, here's our doctor's bag. This is a piece of tiling from the bird cage in St. Albans. We've got a toe tag there. Now this is the the nurse, of course, the tuberculosis uh, sanatorium vintage uh, gown here. Uh, we also have some other things. Now here is a picture of the actual hospital that this box is from. Uh, that was you that it was used in now this is uh, am high the asylum in Augusta Maine and this is an authentic real electroshock machine 
and this is going to be investigated in October and you can see the paddles and stuff are down there with some assorted things now this is our medical cart that we just got in so I was really excited to be able to get that all together now this is Dr. Ray Isaac Ray Dr. Ray um, he actually for some time worked at Am High and has a lot of history with that hospital and he actually wrote this book here in our antique wheelchair here um, all about insanity but he worked alongside throughout his entire life um, in asylums and alongside hospitals he actually opened his own hospitals so he's kind of in here in the asylum um, and now we have our medical partition here to separate the area so we'll be able to do lockdowns and stuff in the actual wing i'm hoping to be getting a secondary wheelchair one that we can actually sit in because this is an antique wheelchair that um, i don't want to put my weight into so eventually i will get a secondary wheelchair and i'm hoping to be getting us a straight jacket so it's going to be lots of fun this october so that is the first room in the museum Okay, and uh, of course, now walking into the second room, you guys know this very well. We've got Ameline over here in her coffin. She's underneath the haunted mirrors here, uh, both from different cases. The room we do not enter here that is locked. We've got our Elan antique Victorian chair with faces on it. I just love this chair so much. Um, here we have our new grandfather's clock. Now, it still needs to be restrung. Eventually, I will take it apart and try to do that. Um, I just, it was too hot in here. Um, so, I was waiting for this fall to try to do that project. Our study kind of got pushed over to the side. You guys have probably seen this already. But it just kind of has this really pretty look in here. In our bookshelf, I have um, mom's broom, cat's broom here. And then my broom's over here. Uh, and we get the hag and some memorial pieces and other things. Um, but yeah, I really like the way that this room is. It's just nice and simple, but I really love the addition of the clock against those creepy abandoned boards and the ripped wallpaper. I just, I'm living for the abandoned creepiness of this Victorian viewing room with Ameline. And our unmentionables behind the door. So, I just love the way that this lighting also makes this clock look. This is the messy part of the museum. Currently, um, his Anna's piano she hasn't played with yet. This is where I store games, toys, and extra dolls that have been donated that we haven't really investigated much with yet. Um, and then here is the camera that I'm going to be filming my video with, so just ignore that. But uh, we're going to walk in here. So right now I currently have the candles going, but... We've got the different shelves here. I have moved some of our things here um, in the actual countertop. Um, this is the stone from outside, the grave from outside. And these are pieces from haunted locations. I'm sure you guys know if you've been following us where they're from. This is my grandmother's book. Um, and actually, if I set my flashlight down and I move the candle, and this little lady right here, um, that's her picture. That's my grandmother, Shirley, and that's her handwritten Ouija board up there in the corner. And that's her Ouija board there. So those are all her things. Um, and I'll go more into her again another time. I've done a video on her, um, talking about her and, and her book and stuff before. Um, but again... Uh, we'll discuss more in that because I'd like to do a whole video 
talking about her and then possibly try to communicate with her maybe through the portal um so these are some of the objects that we have on display right now again sometimes you'll see new things pop in or i'll rotate things out because i don't have room for everything that we have and own in our collection so you'll see us a lot of times just rotate things out so here is um, our new school section set up. Um, we've got the new chalkboard, some vintage toys, and a, this is the TV we're going to be using tonight with our members, the nursing home TV. I have the bear over here that goes with it because um, I figured it's easier and doesn't hurt his eyes so much to watch from over here. And then, of course, we've got Alice over here, a um, few extra of her toys. These are all Alice's toys here. And then we've got Michael up here with the nun. Um, just some odds and ends. Oh, we forgot about Quentin hanging here. Hello, Quentin. So, you know, we just got our things staggered around, but we try to keep our mess organized. Oh, I forgot. We do have Billy down here on the shelf and Clem. They're just hidden kind of behind right now. Um, I'll move them out eventually to get them some some attention. Uh, so they're hidden right now. But we also have some more artifacts down there as well. You guys can see... But I just, I'm starting to dig uh, this whole space so far. This is kind of our um, divination table. We use it for dice and tarot card readings and seances and whatnot. Um, you can move it out of that corner if you want to. Now, remember, this is an old abandoned space that we kind of just kind of converted into storage for a lot of our haunted artifacts. And it's kind of come into this cool, creepy museum and I just love it. These are the Elan masks and some of the artifacts found at Elan. The Harry Potter book was found there. Some of these beanie babies. Um, as you can see they say Elan school on these. This is an original photo. Elan school. And what's really cool is I actually found um, some footage from explorers that went to the school that these artifacts are from where they actually see these objects that we have here in their videos. So it's really cool because um, uh, I didn't have footage of them picking up the objects when I bought them from them. They didn't have the footage to give to me, but they did post videos later. So I'm able to find footage of our stuff actually in the actual school. So I find that really, really cool. It's just another little piece of uh, history that goes along with the artifact. So to have the digital files to go along with it is really cool. So we've got a few, uh, two new additions here. This little girl came to us. Um, she does not have a backstory, guys. None whatsoever. Um, she came from a actual yard sale. So we're not really sure... Um, we're going to have to investigate her more. But I was super drawn to her... Um, and I'm just in love with her. And I love how she can stand up and be posed. Um, and she does have sleep eyes that work. Her eyes shut when you lay her back. And then we have one more over here. Uh, Anna's little friend. And she's super cute too. So. But that's what we have going on here in the museum currently. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed the little sneak peek into the museum. And um, I'm going to head over and do a session with our members. And give me until next week, guys, to come out with some better videos. But I've just been feeling so rough that, honestly, this was pretty much all that I could manage to do today. Um, is just this so i'm going to be filming you guys another video um but i wanted to get something up there so you guys know that i hadn't forgotten about you and that i was still here so until then i will see you guys in the next video